thrust vectoring. Every action entails a reaction in the opposite direction. If we push the air backwards using propellers, the plane will be pushed forward. The trajectory is mainly dictated by the control surfaces. But it is also possible to control it by directing where we push the air. This is called thrust vectoring. Particularly in fighter aircraft, its use is common, as it allows maneuvers to be carried out that would not be possible with control surfaces alone. It also allows vertical takeoff and landing. Its use in space rockets is even more evident, where the absence of air doesn't allow any control through aerodynamic surfaces. It is very useful in the guise of reverse thrust, which changes the direction of airflow to slow down the plane, reducing the use of brakes and the distance required for landing.